What's up guys? Randy from Man of Action Figures. It's been a while, but I'm back to show you some of the recent stuff we got in. I actually got enough stuff here to do a couple of videos for you. So there'll be another one in rapid succession after this one. Hope everybody's staying safe out there and washing your hands and staying away from the big crowds. I got a bunch of stuff. I think I'm just gonna start over here, guys. I got some Iron Studios. So we got the uh, Fat Thor or the Bro Thor or the Thor I most identify with. Iron Studios, 110 scale. We've also got right here, Mystique and Winter Soldier. Also, Professor X, Power Girl. Then I got a DC collectible statue here. This is Batman versus Deathstroke. You can't really see here. This is just a box, but there is no art box for it. It's from Trick or Treat Studios, and it's a life-size uh, Billy from Saw puppet. You can check that out on the website, manofactionfigures.com. I got uh, Eagle Moss ship here, the NCC 1701C, and the Colonial One from Battlestar Galactica. And down here, I'm going to have to get back to this one. I don't remember which one that is right there. But I know I got from Level 52 Studios, which I think this is the first time. I'm sorry, I do remember what that is. That's the Wonder Woman Prime 1 Bust. Prime 1 Wonder Woman Bust. Sorry about that. Brain fart. All right, so Level 52 Studios, I think this is the first items we've received from them. And this is the Reaper, and this is based on some Frank Frazetta artwork, as is the piece we have on top of that. And this one is the Swordsman of Mars, based on another one of his paintings. As you can see, these are really limited. 170 on that one, and an addition size of 155 on that one. So if you're thinking of getting that one, I would jump on it. Um, I got some of these anime ones right here super saiyan god super saiyan vegeta and who do we have over here son goku i got a gold uh vintage style he-man from masters of the universe all right we got an alien resurrection alien new warrior life-size head prop replica from cool props that thing's huge, as you can see. We've had some of those in the past. Um, not sure the addition on those, but I know, uh, I think we only got that one. Uh, got a Jean Grey premium format down there. I'll do all the stuff on the bottom at the end. Let me just get rid of these big pieces. Uh, Tweeter head, we got a Wonder Woman here. And this is a second edition behind it of the Harley Quinn, actually Batman versus Harley Quinn battle second edition statue you can check that out on the website it's a huge statue and they're in the middle of a, a battle as you can see as the name will tell you domino premium format from sideshow collectibles is in stock that's an edition size of 2000 and one of the additions we have is really low number 26 we happen to get a lot of low numbers for some reason from sideshow also from sideshow we got some one six scale figures from their DC line, we got the Joker. From their Marvel line, we have Red Skull. And from Star Wars, we got the Boba Fett Mythos. Is it Mythos or Mythos? I don't know, you tell me. But anyways, we got Boba Fett in there. And then we have some hot toys in stock. I got the Deluxe Luke Skywalker set. We've also got uh, down there on the side, the Endor. So I got MMS 516 and then the Deluxe 517, all from uh, Episode 6, also known as Return of the Jedi. And we've got the R2-D2 Deluxe set Hot Toys. Those are going pretty fast. Last time we had Hot Toys R2-D2, they went really fast too. Um, Black Panther Eric Killmonger Hot Toys is in stock. And then we've got the Deluxe Justice League Batman. All right, I got one more Iron Studios here. 
You shall not pass. Gandalf, Iron Studios, 110 scale is there. Um, below him, I have a 1-6 scale figure, Star Ace. This is Hagrid, 2.0 version. And there is a, uh, jumping back to Lord of the Rings here, 1-6 scale figure, the Mouth of Sauron from Osmus Toys is in stock. Got a bobblehead of Bob Ross there with his big paintbrush and paint bucket. I got from Beast Kingdom, this D stage is Donald Duck and his boat. There he is. Got another uh, head knocker here from NECA, Halloween, Michael Myers. Oh man, it's Friday the 13th today. I don't think I have any uh, Jason stuff here today, but anyways, happy Friday the 13th. Uh, Iron Studios, uh, sorry, is this Iron Studios? It's Mini Co. Yeah, it is Iron Studios, I think. It's Batman. All right, we got some DC collectibles over here. Uh, this is one of the multi part statues. This is Batman Rogues Gallery Catwoman, and she's got a big old rock in her hand. And let me see if I can do this without dropping anything. That's what the full statue will look like. They're like on top of a rooftop. The penguins there, Joker's there, Harley's there, Catwoman's there. Sorry for the little crappy pick. Uh, if you check out the website, manofactionfigures.com, you'll be able to see the whole thing. Um, uh, Cover Girls, Joel Jones, Huntress. I've got this, uh, another one of these cows in the Batman cow line. This is the Nightfall Batman cow. Jumping back to Star Wars for a minute down there, we got Obi-Wan Kenobi premium format. Avengers Endgame from Diamond Select. We got from their Premier Collection resin statue line. Captain America. This is limited to 3,000 pieces. All right. A little bit of what's popping right here. We got Venomized Groot. That's one of those 10-inch ones. And then I'll, I'll, I'll get to the pops after these next two pieces. Bombshells. DC Bombshells. Mary Shazam is in stock. I've got this uh, Black Series, this thing kind of looks like a VHS case or something like that. It's the Celebration Luke Skywalker. He's in stock and that's some of the accessories. I believe this is a previous exclusive. All right, uh, gonna try to do these pops quickly because as usual, there's a ton of them. Mandalorian, we got the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. I've got Guild Wars. Ritlock, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I got American History Jackie Kennedy. We got, again, another Guild Wars. This is Joko. Again, I don't know if I'm spelling that correctly. Quasimodo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Client from The Mandalorian. John Cena, you can see him right there. Uh, I've got an Incinerator Stormtrooper back there. Sorry, I dropped Godfather. This guy's cool right here. Let's do him real quick. This is from Osmos. It's a little uh, little figure. Um, comes with a chair and his tiny cat. Uh, Osmos, Don Vito, Godfather. Uh, Cubits, they call these little guys. Super cool. Um, drop them again. Offworld Jawa here from The Mandalorian. 80 years. Marvel Vulture. Shinji. From Evangelion, Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter's the reason I'm in this country. Cinderella. Got some Def Leppard pops. Rick Allen, Phil Collins. Not to be confused with Phil Collins. Joe Elliott. Where's the drummer? See, that's, I don't know if you guys know, the drummer, you know, he had an accident, I believe, and he only had one arm. They made the pop like that. So, attention to detail. Uh, the Miz from WWE. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names from Angelion. Re? Is it Re? Correct me if I'm wrong. Q9-0. Q90. He's a droid from The Mandalorian. He's in stock. Diesel from WWE. And Eva Unit 01. It's one of the bigger pops. Speaking of bigger pops, look at this monstrosity. 18 inch Batman pop is in stock from DC that will tower over your pop collection It makes that little six inch pop look puny More pops here. We got bad boys Mike 
and Marcus. Uh, we got the good place. We got some pops here. Rick with Crystal Skull. We got Paul George from the Clippers. NBA season suspended for now in light of all this coronavirus stuff. Mandalorian here. Grief Karga. Covert Mandalorian. Marilyn Manson is there. Beautiful people. Stephen King is here. Ronald Reagan. Well, Ronald is here. Naomi from WWE. Uh, another Def Leppard pop there. Rick Savage. Scuba Sam. Oh, Miami Vice. Nice artwork there. There's Tubbs. Crockett's over here. Oh, man. I liked him so much. I put Tubbs twice. He's right there. Uh, the Warriors. Great movie. Can you dig it? Swan. Cochise. Luther. Uh, Rage 2. Goon Squad. I got this lights and sound. Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader. Space Suit Morty from Rick and Morty. Um, good Luck Trolls. I got the Pink Troll, the Rainbow Troll. Over here I got Space Suit Rick with Snake from Rick and Morty. Hospice Morty. Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Quasimodo Fool, so that's a different version. Immortal Shrouded from Rage 2. Future Trunks, Dragon Ball Z. Another one of the trolls, Orange Troll. Remember Smokey the Bear? I tell you not to smoke cigarettes, not to light forest fires. Well, they made a pop out of him. Where's Waldo? He's right there. Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn. Birds of Prey, Black Canary. Birds of Prey, Huntress. Guild Wars, Baby Aureen. Mulan, Riding Khan. Speed Racer with the Mach 5. All right. I just got a couple more big pops later, but moving on from the pops, we got this Miles Morales Hero Suit version from Kotobukiya. That is an Artifacts 110 scale. Uh, Mary, Shazam Mary making another appearance. This time she's a Bishoju from Kotobukiya. And the Baroness Cobra! She's there. They're making a couple other versions of her too. They're making one in the blue and a crimson red one so that's cool also they're doing another version of i think it's cover girl and it's the argentina version those pre-orders should be up on the website man of action i think this uh was a former exclusive marvel select ant-man and wasp and he comes up with a few of these tiny versions which is cool and um dante i believe is this 1000 toys I'm not sure. I'm afraid everything will be tumbling to the ground. But they are 112 scale Dante. And there's, uh, from Devil May Cry, there's a smaller, not smaller, they're the same scale. There's a deluxe version, this bigger one here. All right, uh, Landing Pod from Star Trek Discovery, another Eagle Moss. Um, Titan over here, 1 6 scale from 3 0. I got John Wick down there, Gallery. I got Saitama, 1-6 scale, season two from One Punch Man is in stock. I got some bear bricks. Let's get those out of the way. Batman, the animated series, Batman, 100 and 400%. I got Tom and Jerry, Jerry, 400%. Those are about 12 inches tall. I got a Care Bear here, and that looks like Good Luck Bear. It should be Good Luck. Uh, we got the 100% version there of Good Luck Bear 2, and... I think that's bedtime bear. Might be some of you people's bedtime already. Uh, another one six scale from Sideshow here. This is Magneto. Another Kotobukiya piece. I really like the artwork on this one. This is Cosmic Ghost Rider, one ten scale pre-painted model kit. If you ever open these, you know there's no painting, there's no glue, anything. It's like a snap fit kit. It's just a statue. Really cool. Former uh, exclusive here. Ultimate Spider-Man from the Marvel Gallery line. These are like 50 buck PVC statues, which are really a good bargain for the size and money. All right, a couple more pops. Elsa riding Knock. And another dude riding another thing. The Mandalorian on the Blurg. Got this Q-Fig Venom in stock as well from Quantum Mechanics. Couple more bear bricks here, 2001, a Space Odyssey, Red Astronaut. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe here. And I showed you Jerry, here's Tom. Transformers Bumblebee Deluxe Scale figure from three, 
3A, 30, sorry, Optimus Prime here. And there's the 400% Bedtime Bear. Another one of these D-Stage from Beast Kingdom, Alien Coin Ride. Okay, we got a red, white, and black Harley Quinn from Josh Middleton this time. And Sinestro, DC Essentials. What else do we have? Almost done, guys. Gyron Figuarts. Uh, I got this Reaction 3-pack from the Nostromo, Kane, Ripley, and Ash. We've got one of these PX Mesco Cable 112 figures. Uh, we got this is Frodo right here, Iron Studios. And a black and white Batman statue, Gene Conlon. And last but not least, I got a couple of EFX helmets down here. Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy and Boba Fett from The Empire Strikes Back. Sorry I didn't have time to unbox those. It's a lot of stuff, as you saw. But you can check those out on the website, manofactionfigures.com. You could email us at info at manofactionfigures.com. And you know what? I thought I was done. I got to show you all this stuff down here. Let's, let's run through this quickly. Uh, Psycho Bandit, vinyl figures there. Godzilla against Mothra. I'm going to do this like that old Micro Machines commercial. I got a couple of IT stat, uh, figures here. These are the retro cloth figures. Starships, number 160, the United Earth Saravejo. A couple more Eagle Moss here. These are the Decade Eagle Moss. So I got the 80s Batman and the 90s Batman. DAH Beast Kingdom Wonder Woman. I got BWFC Ben Presto World Figure Colise Coliseum. That's Broly. I got another retro cloth figure over here from NECA. That is from Wes Craven's New Nightmare, Freddy Krueger. Some reaction figures here from Pee Wee's Playhouse, Captain Carl, My Pet Monster, which I'm ashamed to say I don't know what that's from. Got some Mego figures here. It looks like a uh, dress uniform, Captain Kirk and Jimi Hendrix. Um, the Candyman, there's a new Candyman movie I heard. This is from the original right there. Sorry for the glare, guys. Sector, Mortal Kombat, Storm Collectibles. A couple more DC Essentials. We got Green Lantern, that looks like Hal Jordan right there. Nightfall Catwoman. That's some 118 scale gas pumps. Philip 66, Union 76, and Golf. And then I got some Hollywood series here. Sanford and Son, his old pickup truck from the movie Speed. I got a Ford Bronco. I got, this looks like uh, Travis Bickle's taxi cab from Taxi Driver right there. Uh, Home Improvement, Studebaker Commander Starliner, The Fall Guy, man, that's the coolest one in the wave right there, look at that. And Groundhog Day, 1980 Chevy Caprice, Hobby Shop, we got some other cars here, 1984 GMC 2500, 1976 Dodge Coronel, oh man, I'm not getting a good shot here with the glare. Ford Ranchero, that was kind of like the counterpart to the uh, El Camino right there. 1975 Volkswagen Rabbit. 2015 Jeep Wrangler and these bring like a little dude or girl or accessory uh, on them that's where the hobby shop and then the uh, that's a cool car the Chevy Blazer all right guys I think I've showed you everything that I have for this video there'll be another one coming up soon tomorrow's the 14th Saturday I think that might be the last day that the store is open out on us1 as normal you know due to the virus we want to protect our employees. We want to protect the people. We may be open just for store pickup a couple of hours. Um, but look for an announcement on that soon. The store will be open as usual tomorrow. And, uh, you know, obviously the website's always open. You can always um, put an order online. And uh, there's a good chance we'll just do free shipping within the state of Florida. So, you know, people can still get their collectibles. Um if that's something you want to do. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.